Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're joined by your host, still me, and in this video, we're going to be talking about dead channels on a dead channel, specifically one that has become recently noteworthy, who is also definitely my favorite YouTuber. Gravy Art Girl, Gravity Girl, is quite a peculiar case because for being a dead channel, it's not very dead. Now, personally, I have a little bit of experience being dead, and usually when something dies, it doesn't just Undie. Most of you probably don't even know who Grace Yard Girl is, because there's no way you would have been able to see her in her prime. I very much doubt any of you are old enough to be mistaken as ancient skeletons. Or Diesel. Because he's old. Our story begins back in 2011, which is probably an important year, but I, I can't really remember it that well. This is the year that Bunny Maya started uploading to her YouTube channel, but it was in 2014 where the monumental growth happened and she reached 4 million subscribers. Speaking of which, if you could just click the subscribe button down below, I would appreciate it. I'm trying to get to 50k by the end of June. And if I do get to 50k by the end of June, I promise, by the 1st of July, I will have exactly 50,000 subscribers. Now, back on topic, getting specific numbers this far back is actually pretty difficult, mainly because of the European Union. That wasn't some weird highbrow joke that none of you got. That's actually the truth. Although three years is definitely long enough to detail the flatlining of her channel. Now, as you can see in April of 2016, she has 6.7 million subscribers. And by the very next year, April of 2017, she's amassed almost 8 million subscribers. And by the next year, she only, she only got 8.2 million subscribers. Yeah, almost immediately after 2017 reared its ugly fucking face, uh, her sub growth and view count just flatlined like me at my son's bar mitzvah. Poor kid. Assuming you know how traffic lights work, this is clearly not a nice sight to be seen, especially since her views are nothing to snuff at. Then it goes all shitty anime plot twist in like a day and completely fucking wipes everything that happened in the past two months. This subgrowth comes from a man that when you see him you will audibly say, ah hey, that looks like Shane Dawson. In a recent video, he drove out with his fam squad. In a recent video, he drove out with his fam squad and went to talk to Bunny. Oh, that was a tough one to get through. The video has a nice introduction for those who don't know who she is, which nicely transitions into a nice little video. It's just nice. Surely though, just having someone in a video isn't enough to defy God and bring something back from the dead. And to be fair, that's correct. So what black magic, what dark hearts were used to bring this channel back from the dead? Shane goes up to her, talks to her, and then consoles her about her feelings. It's like you get into such a bad place mm. that you just almost have to almost transform into a different person. Right. And so I feel like after my grandpa passed away and after I was in like that really bad car accident, I just like did not know what I was going to do with my life. And then I came to YouTube and it was just like always just such an amazing, wonderful place to go. And like it really just turned like every negative in my life into a positive. That sounds suspiciously like, like how kind humans treat each other. Not YouTubers. I'm on to you, you fucking lizard man. Oh yeah, babies. B babies everywhere. She just ha she has a lot of babies. There's just baby limbs, chandelier made out of baby limbs. Stop. Usually when there's such a change in fate regarding someone's subgrowth, there's at least two shitty diss tracks involved. Like, absolute minimum. So, um, these are baby skins. So, in order to make some of the chandeliers, I cut the baby skins in half and would, like, wrap them some of the legs with it. Sorry, I just, it's all happening. <laughs> Wait, oh Benjamin's single, do you want to, like, hook her up with some Oh my god. <laughs> I know, look Dating at the show. <laughs> Wait, you haven't met my favorite baby. I have a favorite baby. What if she's a real one? Exposed. <laughs> <laughs> it's so strange seeing a positive effect on a channel come from something that is majority positive. It's not drama. Disgusting, I know. The best part about this though is that Shane refers to this as a series and just looking at the title it seems to be setting up a series in the future. Like what's gonna be next? Fred equals three? Or maybe, just maybe, the most popular and creative user that this platform has ever seen. Now Leafy is here is what I would like to call a controversial topic but to actually have differing opinions attack each other 
Pe people have to care about him first. Seeing as Bunny is one of the most notable examples of a revived channel, it made me think, I wonder how far I can throw my toaster. And as I was thinking that, the multi-ton freight train that I was supposed to be controlling went around a corner too fast and barreled into a nearby town, killing thousands of children, let alone the adults. And that's when it hit me. Oh, of course, train wreck. Leafy is here. Classic. In case you're new to the scene and you don't actually know who Leafy is, uh, basically, he got other people to do his work for him, but without paying them correctly or crediting them correctly, pretty much never improved his own work, pretty much never even did his own work, and when he actually did get called out for his shitty practices, uh, he made the least graceful possible response I have ever seen. Honestly, it's pretty amazing seeing someone contribute that heavily to their own failure. Along with this, he hasn't even uploaded in four months. Now, is Leafy's downfall comparable to the downfall that Bunny was having? Not really, because she was fading into obscurity while he was soaring in the sky. Which tells us if you are doing really well on YouTube, don't immediately change your course into the nearest cliffside. The next bad boy I want to talk about is someone whose name sounds too close to anime for my own comfort. Inision is one of the few channels that I have seen people completely abandon him because of how much they just disliked him. It's not like he said nay to uploading for multiple moon cycles or some shit like that. People just don't fucking like him anymore. The question has to- now the question has to be asked, how would you revive a channel that died in that way? I, I don't fucking know. I am no prize goose myself, but it seems to be hated that much you have to really be dedicated to it. Pay attention to everything I say, not just the things that you can take out of context to make me sound bad. Now, because I said this, I must bring up this next point. A lot of people respond to that saying, Greg, you would know about context, wouldn't you? We're referencing a video where Shane Dawson was talking about a girl who's less than half the age of any girl I've ever put in my videos regarding rating or anything like that. And he was describing her as S E F R. The last channel I want to discuss isn't exactly dead, but my spider sense isn't giving me the best vibes if you know what I'm saying. Now KSI's channel isn't dead, not by any stretch of the imagination, at least yet. He still gets views by the truckload, but it's more his subgrowth and his track record that concerns me. What does track record mean though? Well, do you remember when he's... What is... What is... What does track record mean though? Well, do you remember when Creature was released? Specifically, the stretch of time before Creature was released where he didn't upload? KSI doesn't really seem to know what he's doing with the channel. It's just kind of everywhere, like a loose-limbed squirrel on a landmine. I ain't trying to tell anybody how to live. My only advice is to love and forgive. Everybody born in this world has a gift. The lightning strikes in your life, but you'll live. Now, it's pretty easy to stop a channel dying like this. Just upload more than twice a week, maybe? You know, maybe don't take massive breaks. Oh, yeah, and also get into as many fights as possible with someone who has the last name Paul. If you liked the video, please do like and subscribe. I fucking love doing this and I'm loving the support recently. But as always, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.